in the field. Uh, and I recall on one occasion, you know, I knocked this kid out, um, and then, you know, they got a security to escort me out of the field. And I remember, you know, I recall the security guard saying to me, kid, soccer is not for you. You know, you don't last long in the field. You know, every time I watch you, you're getting kicked out because you can't control your temper. He said to me, you know what, why don't you try boxing? You know, so I said, well, I've got nothing to lose. So the next day I went to the gym. It turned out this security, you know, guard, you know, it turned out he was a boxing trainer and a boxer himself. So, you know, he started teaching me how to fight. But the first thing he said, look, we need to work on your anger. At first, I didn't believe it. And I thought, you know what, as a fighter, you need to be angry. You know, I thought, you know, it's fighting. You got to be angry. But I was wrong. You know, boxing is different. Boxing is scientific. You know, boxing, you need, it's like playing a game of chess. You need to be thinking, you know. You need to know how to counter-react, you know. You, you know, when you get hit, you got to, you know, um, counter-punch. But you can't do it, you know, if you're angry. So it took me, you know, um, you know he put me in sparring. And it took, him, it took me a bit of beating up in the gym up until I realized I needed to change my thinking. And I realized when I calmed down, you know, I was doing well, you know. And But then it changed me as a person as well, you know. Um, from this angry young man, you know, I became this very calm and collected person. And I believe, you know, if it wasn't for boxing, you know, growing up in South Africa, you know, where, you know, pretty much every teenager walked around with a knife or a gun, you know, I'll probably be dead today or locked up locked up in jail if I didn't take our boxing. Love, my, I mean, you did it all in the boxing world. So we went through some of your accolades before, three-time world champ, the Australian Boxing Hall of Fame. You have overcome everything in your life. And you mentioned before you didn't go to school to the age of nine. How have you gotten yourself to a point where you've pushed through all the bullshit excuse my language nothing is impossible in this world you know when you put your mind your soul heart and sweat into it you know it really doesn't matter you know whether you had a, you know, a very bad start in life you know but with you know uh, perseverance you know and, and hard work you can still you know make your dreams come true you know uh, like i said you know everything that i faced in life you know, help me become the person that I am today. Love Morton Dor is our guest today. He has a book out called Tough Love. It is his autobiography available through New Holland Publishers, all good bookstores as well. We'll wrap things up with Love More next and include his reception when he was first moving to Australia and why he decided to stick around in our great country. It's straight up to This is a Triple M storm and cyclone tip. Rain, hail or shine, be prepared this storm season with CGU and Queensland Country Bank. Stay dry, stay safe and prepare yourself this storm season during a flood if you're under a flood warning find shelter right away don't walk swim or drive through flooded waters stay off bridges timbo reed here if you're keen to grow your beautiful business into the empire it deserves to be, then this is the podcast for you. Search the Small Business Big Marketing Podcast, listen for free, download the Podcast One Australia app. Podcast One. Who knows how to get you icy cold in no time? Let their fleet of mechanics assist you today. Call 4081 Shag and Arbor Refrigeration, where keeping you cool is our priority. Wow, that's a fantastic little gadget. Where'd you find out about that? Oh, I read about it in PacMag. No fair. Where did you get that from? I won it in PacMag. Wow, Sam's improved so much. Yes, I know. A PacMag article gave me some great tips. Oh, great. It's raining. What are we going to do with the kids? Oh, I'll grab my PacMag. It'll have heaps of ideas. Okay, we get it. Every hey gamers, want to win a copy of Crash Bandicoot 4? It's about time. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, as well as a PS4 Pro or Xbox One S. Head to pressstart.com.au to enter. Press Start Australia, for every gamer. Respite care, and they're so close we could visit. <laughs> and I can get respite from your mum's fussing. I need a break too. Google infinite care for more. Accommodation? Check. Bags? Check. Safe car? Check into Midas. We're here for you to... SoundCloud Radio. What's next in music is first on SoundCloud Radio. Discover new music first. What's next in music is first on SoundCloud Radio. On DAB Radio and Radio App Now. 
air conditioner this summer with cash back on selected split systems and ducted systems. Check out the range and where to buy at mhiaa.com.au. Get in, belt up, and get to Murano's new Southside Servo. Murano's have come to Edmonton with all the things you love. Have a feed in the dining room. The food's awesome. And there's a COVID-safe plan in place. Grab a Skybury Barista coffee and get back on the road fast with AdBlue at the Bowser. There's access for heavy vehicles. Meanwhile, what's going on with the Danny Lakey show at night? Jason, when did you realise you're old? I was um, only 37 at the time, and I went and picked up my three-year-old son from daycare. And one of the educators said, oh, puppy's going to get you. <laughs> Let's listen to Danny Lakey and turn it up to the ceiling. Everything could go so wrong, but you'll be so happy. The Danny Lakey Show. Weeknights at 7. Catch up anytime with the podcast. Download the Triple M app. Input to Mackay at your service 24 7. NQ Towing Service. 4033 Or visit ngtowing.com.au. Trinity Hyundai, where you can test drive the all new Hyundai i30. Triple M Breakfast with Elliot Lovejoy. Everything cans. First, you're waking up with Elliot Lovejoy as we do it live and local right across the tropical north. Thanks to Trinity Hyundai. That's where you can test drive the all-new Hyundai i30 today. Now, we're lucky enough to still have Love More Ndo on the show. Now, he is a three-time boxing world champion, a lovely fella, as we're learning more and more about today, that was born in South Africa, witnessed many atrocities as a kid, was a victim of racism right throughout his younger and into adult life until he made the move to Australia. Love more. Why from South Africa to Oz, and what was it about Australia that became so special to you that you stayed here for the rest of your time? You know what? When I came to Australia, I was shocked. You know, the treatment, the reception that I received. You know, people saw a human being in me. They didn't see a black guy. You know, they treated me as a human being. And and I recall going back to South Africa and telling I was married, and you know, telling my wife, you know, that we're going to Australia. You know, and she said, are you joking? I said, eh, I'm not joking. And then six months later, <laughs> six months later, you know, we planned that trip. And, and I recall some people saying, Lamo, they must send you back in a boat. <laughs> 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 but, 
But then I came back and, you know, this country has been so good to me and my family and it provided us with all the opportunities. So, you know, I always tell everybody, this is a beautiful country to, to live. Love my, you sound like such a, a peaceful, you know, free-spirited man now. Um, my, my final question to you is, was it hard not to hold on to hate, especially towards anyone of a Caucasian background? Because the way you were treated by white men in South Africa when you first started life, it would be understandable if you didn't have any trust towards them for the rest of your time. I learned something from Mandela. You know, you remember, remember when Mandela came out of jail, you know, he was asked, you know, uh, and I entered, he said it himself. He said, you know, when I left those gates, you know, I looked back and I thought to myself, you know, that, you know if I don't forget, you know, if I don't forgive, you know, those who did whatever they did to me, mm-hmm. you know, I'm always going to be in prison, you know. So, you know, I learned something from that. You know, I, I, you know, I know what they've done to us was wrong, but I've learned the art of forgiving, you know. And, and I know some, you know, you look at some of them, they didn't know any other way. You know, it's the way they were raised, you know, what they were taught. You know, like Mandela says, you know, we're not, you know, we, 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 we're, we're all born to love, you know, we, we, you know, but we are taught to hate. Yeah. You know, so, you know, they were taught to hate, you know, growing up as children. So, you know, they didn't know any other way. So now I don't hold any, you know, um, hatred to, towards Caucasian. I love white people. You know, I, in fact, I don't see white or, you know, yellow or black in people. I see human beings. Tough Love is the book's name. It's the amazing true story of a boxing world champion turned lawyer. You can find Love More on uh, social media too. An incredible story of you can do absolutely anything you set your mind to. Thank you for being so accommodating with your time and and sharing your story. And I hope everyone goes out and grabs your book, which you can do from New Holland Publishers or all good bookstores. An absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you again. Thank you for having me on your program. Streaming on your phone from the...